About to embark on bathing another chicken. Can you guess who it's going to be? Well, she I just want to make sure you all realise it's Tina, and we're going to attempt to get this neck nice and clean. She's she's relaxing in the water at the moment. She had a feisty start, but I think she's realised I'm not here to hurt her. So I'm going to clean that neck, and we're going to not recognise her when we're done. Well, she seems to be enjoying this uh, shampoo at the moment. This uh, She's getting cleaner, but it's a blinking hard job trying to get her totally clean. I'm not sure how clean I'm going to be able to get her, but I'm trying. She's a very dirty young lady, bless her. But we'll get there. I'll do my best. Bless her, just sitting in the water. This tail isn't going to come any cleaner. I've tried so hard. I don't know. I'm not sure at the moment. I might have to do her another time, but I need to get her to... Water's cooling down, and I've put a little bit of baby oil in this water. So we'll get her transported across and get her rinsed off. Uh -huh. We'll close the in there now, just getting dried off. <laughs> dirty water I was expecting it to be dirtier to be honest so hmm we'll see how much better she's going to obviously be better but I don't think she's going to be completely clean it's something that's definitely embedded into her feathers I don't know whether she's got like a, a red tinge in her feathers that do that or grey tinge we'll have to have a check them out when she's dry Wow, what a look and difference is this? She's not finished drying properly yet, but oh my goodness. Tina, you look so clean. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've had this, I've had put put this there at the moment and Jock's been eyeing it up. I think I can make it higher by attaching them poles if possible to those middle struts and then putting that wire, some wire between it maybe just to lift it to the height of the building at least. But it needs to go all the way across because I know Jock he'll try and get up that way. I'm going to have to move this as well, I've decided. That's going to have to move. So, I think I'm going to have to move that bench that's there. This bench here, I'm going to move that round the corner. And then I'm going to put this there. It wants to go in somewhere. It's a shame this is. Because I need to get as much space and all this needs moving again. I need to use it and cut it up. Oh, God, if it's messy now, it's going to be... Oh, God, who's that Maggie? Jesus. No, it wasn't Maggie. Who was it? It's Alice. Or Connie. Connie. Can't go, I'm afraid. You're stuck in this little section. So you just have to make the best of what you got. I shall try and find something for you to do later. Might try and put something to hang on that beam so you've got something to play with. I was thinking of putting a swing up or something. I'll see later. 
They're all standing around looking at me, wondering what the heck's going on because he can't go out into the garden. And this little monkey here is the reason why I've got to cover the whole place up. I've just ordered a, a 10 metre by 5 metre mesh to uh, span all of this. I'm not sure if five meters is going to work. Uh, it's just slightly over five meters long between that door up over there in the corner and to the house. And I've got to decide how to fix it. I've got one scaffolding pole that I thought I could fix to the end of the roof of the shed somehow to bring it over oh, god what a pain i just hope we've got some a decent day when it arrives and i've got a decent day to do it because it's going to be hard doing it in the rain and wind it's uh pretty well it's, look it is quite windy it's been blowing the gale all night oh you poor girls and boy just standing around wondering what's happening. Uh, good girl chasing him out. Thank you.